I did, Ariel. This is the apartment where that suspect lived, and right down here on this landing is where officers were forced to shoot him. Now, I spoke with a family who lived just a few feet away, and they told me that they now have three bullet holes above their front door, all from that dangerous gunfire. Um, it's right here. This is the gun that allegedly started a deadly shooting in San Isidro. Police say a man called 911 saying he wanted to shoot someone and then hung up. Police traced the call to these apartments. And I looked outside my window, there was a cop right there be be between that tree and that window, and uh, that's my kid's room. When officers knocked on the door, they came face to face with a man holding a gun. He refused to put it down and started walking down the stairs towards them. Shot fired. Police say they were forced to shoot when that man ignored their commands to drop the weapon. And then I see the guy in a red shirt he comes out and pointing the gun at the cops. And I just heard him like fire him like five, six shots. It would turn out the suspect's weapon was a replica of a semi automatic handgun. But the fear left behind is very real. Oh, I was so scared. I have a grandson here, one year old, so I run into his room and check if he's okay. Police spent the next several hours cleaning up the crime scene, but these bullet holes remain. A reminder things could have been even worse. My kids were just so scared. Um, well, I look at it and then it's, I'm just, we're just lucky to be all right, you know. And police say the woman who is inside this apartment with the suspect is okay. All three of those police officers that discharged their firearms have been with the San Diego Police Department for less than three years. In San Isidro, Bree Stephan, 10 News. Incredible. Thank you.